What's going on YouTube? It's me, First True Review, back in here for another video. Today I got something that I usually get whenever I finish work late at night. I don't really finish work late at night anymore, but when I used to, this is what I'd always get. Okay, let's try down here, because I know in the last few you couldn't see it, so a and W. I swear to God you should be able to see this. So this isn't quite my specific meal from a and W, but it is like a portion of my big meal, or my meal. Right, so usually what I do is I'll get uh, like a matzo burger, because this is a matzo burger, no bacon, no tomato, I'll get a mom burger instead of fries. But one, I wasn't that hungry, and two, that together costs like 20 something dollars, so I'm not about to do that. So here's the burger right here, look at that. Oh yeah. All right, first bite here. Oh yeah, and leave a comment down below if anything you want me to try, anything you want me to talk about. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Everything helps. Thank you. So, originally I wasn't going to make a video today, but I kind of talked myself into making one. Because I was like, honestly, I'm going to eat right now. I might as well go home and make a video. Because like, why not, right? Like, I don't want to eat and be like, oh, you know what? I could have done that today. All right, I just finished the gym and I'm like, let me do that. So, usually when I eat this, I sit in my car. That's something that's super underrated that people don't do, eat in their car. If you buy food, you pull up to like a nice dark parking lot and somewhere that's like pretty safe, and you eat your food, you can listen to music, watch videos, or sit in silence. It is so underrated, it's so peaceful. Unless you live at home by yourself, then I guess like it's the, kind of the same thing. But like sitting in your car in the dark eating, super underrated. Originally, I was gonna get something else that I'm not too particularly fond of, but I was gonna do it for the video. But unfortunately, I went to it and I'm like, wait, there's a closer location to me. Let me go to that one instead because the one I went to was open. I'm going to go to a closer one. I went to the closer one, closed. And I was like, I'm not turning back. There's one thing about me. I hate going to places that I've already been to. So, driving back and forth is not a thing for me. And one thing about me is when I go to the gym and I listen to music, I listen to some random songs. And one of the random songs I was listening to today was by Miss Celine Dion. And that song was none other than My Heart Will Go On. Which made me think, My Heart Will Go On is probably the best song created by a Canadian artist. No, because like, think about it. Whether song had that much impact, singular song, is that widely known and is that iconic? Where you just hear it and you're like, oh, I know that song. Everyone knows Titanic. Everyone knows my heart will go on. Final bite. And if it's not typically a final bite, it's final bite for me right now. I'm not particularly fond of their fries, but you know. When you think about it, my heart will go on hits all the notes. Like every single one. Has great production. The lyrics are, you know, it's a love song, so it's not gonna be anything crazy. The orchestra, everything about it, the grandness, the cinematicness of the song is just great. Some people are like, oh no, a song by the weekend. Like, I don't know, blinding lights. Some people would say, oh no, a song by Drake, like, take care or something. I brought this up and someone told me Marvin's Room. Marvin's Room's pretty good. It's 100% not better than my heart will go on. And honestly, if you could think of a better song created by a Canadian artist, say it, comment it, because I honestly do not think there is a better song. And that has me thinking. I don't think there will ever be a better song than that. 
in terms of from a Canadian artist. Of course, there's better songs and like whatever is a good song better is like up to your opinion. But like, I don't think that's gonna be topped. Remember back in my day, I wanted to be a producer. I bought a bunch of stuff for it too. I bought a keyboard, which I still have over there. I bought the machine, like I mean S H C H I N or whatever. I even bought a MIDI vinyl sampler so I could like go uh, vinyl digging and sample, which is actually pretty fun. I miss those days. But you know what I learned from that? I learned two things. One, I didn't enjoy the process as much as I thought I would. And two, you know when you listen to a song? And my my idea going into, like, producing at that time was like, oh, I want to make a song that, like, hits me in my chest and I'm just like, whoa, this beat's crazy. Like, you know the first time you heard, like, Soul Paul or something or Devil New Dress? Or maybe the first time you heard, like, Take Care. Or you know that feeling you get when you, like, hear a song, a really good song for the first time? Like, I was like, I want to make music that makes me feel like that. And then I realized, one, I'm not nearly good enough to do that. Two, I could become good enough, but I was like, do I want to put in that hours? And then three, it's like, I don't think I'd be able to feel like that if I am creating it, right? Because I'm going through the steps of process of everything it takes to make that, right? So I'm hearing the song, like, build, and I kind of be, you kind of become, like, noise deaf to it, in a sense. I don't know. I think I made that up, but... Yeah. Final two fries here. All in all, producing wasn't for me, but you know, that's just how it is. So, with that being said, this NW matzo burger combo, nothing too crazy. Um, I'll give it like a five out of ten, just because it's very like average. It's probably the most average burger you'll ever get. So, I'll give it like a like a five out of ten because it's not bad, but it's not like amazing. I only get it because there's nothing else open. Like, there's no 24-hour subway near me, or else I'd get that instead. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anything you want me to talk about, anything you want me to try, I'm down to do that. Leave a comment down below what you think the greatest Canadian song is, because I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Check out the suggested videos on the side, and yeah, this NW for sure review. Peace.